Got a three packages. Got some paint. Also a spray gun by Vivo. They sent me a spray gun to review. So with a spray gun and paint. So we gotta have a paint video. And we're gonna get to review it. This spray gun and the inflatable spray booth. You know a lot of guys been waiting on that video there. So we're gonna open this spray gun up and I'm gonna show you what I got. Let's go ahead and get this box open. It's the model number, 1802. I think the price is $114.99, but after you register, it's $89.99. Plus I got a discount code, you get an extra 5% off. It'll be down in the description. So y'all go check it out if y'all wanna purchase one. Then I get a little kickback, so that'll help me as well. The nozzle and the tip. I'm not sure what size tip it is. It's 1.7 tip. It's the tool set. Here's the spray gun. tell y'all what the top comment on this video here and what I mean by top comment is the comment to get the most likes I will give them this spray gun once I get through spraying I'm gonna spray base coat with it also clear coat on this car but whoever got the top comment will get this spray gun shipped out to them free of charge it's Teflon tape and a fitting also come with a regulator. I won't even use this regulator. I use my old one so I keep it in the package. It'll be shipped out as well. And here's the cup. I might not use this cup because I think I got some that'll work on this one here. Just so y'all have a fresh cup. I'm not sure, but I'll check and see. But this is it, y'all. 1.7 tip. It's somewhat too big for base coat, but it'll all work. It'll be good for primer, but I'm going to use it for base and clear. Well, Guess I'll take y'all out here and show y'all the car. But that'll be in the morning. I'll start sanding on it. Then I'll probably wait a day to spray it early. Because I know it's going to get hot in that inflatable spray booth. So I want to do that early. But we're going to do it all in this video here. So y'all stay tuned. Well, I almost forgot. I need to show y'all the color of the paint. Let me get this base coat out of here. It's by Eurocam. I could use this to open it up with, matter of fact. Need to put on some gloves. The color is Merlot Pearl Base Coat Sparkling. It's like a maroon, maroonish color, burgundy. Gonna be the color of the box Chevy here. Somewhat hard to tell. But y'all get to see it. I'm gonna be spraying just the um, top.
top what I did the panoramic roof in also the door jams inside the door jams on the car itself then I spray the rest on down the line had to cut y'all back on again <laughs> I didn't realize it had a cap already on the gun which I was looking at the gun but the cap on the gun is 1.3 so so we good on that they just send you an extra cap because like I said 1.7 good for priming so we got a 1.3 on the gun the next day it's gonna be a video of me reviewing the Vivo inflatable paint booth also the spray gun the Vivo spray gun and what I'm gonna be doing to review it I'm gonna paint this top here so I got a cutoff line because it's quarter top go here so it's gonna be a cutoff line you're not gonna be able to see I'm gonna paint this at one time then I'm gonna paint the rest of the car later on down the line but I was thinking about well I got this door locked I was thinking about painting the jams when I paint this top I think that's gonna be the plan and I'm gonna have to remove the doors so we're gonna be doing that removing the doors and scuffing everything up getting ready for paint so y'all stay tuned let me get everything set up and we'll get started I done finished taking the doors off as you can see I also took this trim here off so I can get to this trim that was back in the back because I need to paint this when I paint the jams here's all the pieces that I took off and the doors is over here the mirrors Now I take the car up, clean up everything with some soap and water. And I also put a guide coat on this primer area here so I could block it. Finished up washing everything with the jams. Also the top, about to start wet sanding. You can see the guide coat on it. About to wet sand over 400 grit. Got a rigid block. Be using this rigid block here. Got my 400, I'm gonna fold it in half and cut half of it so I can put it around my block. I'm gonna let it soak for a minute or two though in my soapy water. You can see. I put my block in it as, as well. Now I wrap it around my block. I have three sides to work with. I'm gonna start on this side. What I'm gonna be doing is removing the guide coat.
Once all the guide coat removed, you know it's flat. So what kind of pattern that is going in? X pattern. <laughs> oh, raw, trying to test me. <laughs> Y'all see him over there? <laughs> Say what up to? Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? One of them days, grinding. No doubt. I'm finished up sanding the jams now. By hand. I used the block up here on the flat air. I could uh, use a maroon scotch spray on these jams. But I just continue using this 400 grit wet sand. I'm just going back over, touching up spots that I seen that was still shining. After this here, I take me some soap and water, clean off everything. Then I get ready to pull it inside. I'm not gonna pull it in an inflatable booth today because I'm not gonna blow it up to first thing in the morning. I want it to be cool. Then got hot now, but I'm gonna take it in the shop. And I start masking it up, so first thing in the morning, I just can just pull it in and get the spraying. The next day. Here's the following morning. I did all this last night. When I did the masking, I just got to put some plastic over the entire car. Then I cut out everything. I got this back mask here around the jams. Now I sit up, go outside and sit up the booth. Then we'll pull the car in. Hopefully we can get it started before it get too hot. y'all want to see the unboxing of this video check the description i have it down so y'all could look at that video i go in more detail for us for setting it up and what all it come with let me check on the inside here's the fans here bro what's up y'all i had some help this time putting it up it was a lot easier than last time but we're going to come in and out this door here. And I bring the car in from right here. This side. I was thinking about putting that. I got like a shop fan. I was thinking about putting it right here. To pull some of the uh, overspray out. I don't know how good is that going to work. Because I ain't got the other attachments. This is the spray booth coming straight out the box. No upgraded fans or anything. Let me get the car in. We'll see how it's gonna work.
Okay, this is what, how much room I got on this size here. I don't need to walk around the entire car. That's why I backed it up all the way to the back. I just need to be able to walk around the front of there, which I could have took this section here down if I needed to, but I don't. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be good. Let me show you what I got right here. I just rigged up something. I don't know if it's gonna help. I got a fan. I'm gonna use that exhaust fan. I just got it sitting up against the vent. If it helped, I'll let y'all know. But it should pull some of this uh, old spray. Just so I go ahead and mask it up. Well, not mask it up, but put the plastic over it. next day well y'all probably won't believe this but i actually didn't paint yesterday it had got so hot you can see i collapsed the inflatable booth on top of the car i had prepped up everything did all the masking but it had got so hot the sun was beaming down through the uh, openings and heating up the metal it was scorching hot so i decided to hold off until first thing this morning everything is set up now i just got to blow it back up and then we should be good to go. So let me take you inside before I blow it back up. I'm gonna take you inside and show you how I set up my gun. And then we'll blow it up. Okay, here we go. Like I said, I was gonna use a different regulator and I found a cup, an old cup that I could use, but I'm gonna use the lid that came off the new cup. So whoever win the giveaway, they have a fresh regulator cup. I don't think I'm gonna be used. It's actually the gun and the lid. But this is how I got my gun set up. I got my fan pattern wide open. And on my material, I screw the knob all the way in. And you got like a slit in it. Then I let it out two and a half turns. That's one turn, two turns, then a half a turn. Then I lock it down. On the air, I got it wide open on the gun, but on the regulator, I'm gonna have it at 30 PSI. So we're gonna be spraying a sealer. We're gonna be using this Uricam color seal. Put one coat of sealer on it. It's a dark gray. I'm gonna spray all of it at this gun here. The Scylla 1.3 tip, the base 1.3 tip, and the clear 1.3 tip. I'm not gonna use this other tip that came with it, the 1.7. So let's go out there and spray it back up. We'll blow it back up.
Okay, let's go inside so I can show you the mask. I had wiped it down yesterday also. Make sure my tape still laying down good. Let's get ready to go ahead and spray this Scylla. Here's the Scylla. I was having a reaction right here. I think when the uh, inflatable booth landed on it, it imprinted something right here. The Scylla somewhat sealed it up, but hopefully the base sealed it on up. But other than that, everything good.
show you the fan. It is pulling the overspray out. Not sure if you're seeing it. But it's pulling it out. My little setup for now. See. I just finished spraying the last coat of clear. Once you pull out the overspray out, I take you inside. I ran my air hose through that opening now. Well, I probably can take it inside now. Still a little overstrap in here, though. Right. Let me show you what it looked like. I was thinking it was going to dry up real fast right here, which it did okay, since that sun beaming down on the panel, heating it up. But I still got a cut and buffet, so it ain't no big deal. Like it turned out great. If anybody looking to purchase a Vivo spray gun, also or inflatable spray booth, different sizes they care. I have the information down in the description. You can check it out. I have the discount code, save a few bucks as well. But if you like to win this spray gun here that I just painted the car with, leave a comment in the top comment. I ship it out. I'm gonna let it run for a week. So next week this time, I see who got the top comment, whoever got the top comment, I'm gonna send you an email, then you send me your information and I ship it out to you. I'll be shipping the, this cup here out, not the one I use, and everything that come with it. I'm gonna try to pull the car out and show you a look at it outside.
Just 